This is a message for the students who are taking A-level biology and taking A-level chemistry. So in A-level biology, you're learning about condensation and hydrolysis reactions, and you learn about those reactions very early on when you learn about biological molecules, usually. And then you learn about them again towards the end of your A-level chemistry. Please don't switch off in your chemistry lessons and think, oh, I've done this in biology. I know what condensation is. Condensation is like when you lose water and you join molecules together. And hydrolysis is when you use water to break a bond. OK, fine. Those are like very vague definitions. There are lots more details that you need to know in chemistry that are not quite the same. So, for example, in condensation reactions in chemistry, we often make things like HCl instead of water. It's not always water that is produced. And the other things that we need to know is that hydrolysis reactions in chemistry, they don't just happen when you add water to something. So if you take like a lot of materials that are made of polyester, they don't break apart when you just put them in water, when it rains or when you wash your clothes. So actually hydrolysis in chemistry, because we don't have enzymes, we either need to have acid or alkali conditions and you need to pay attention to the different products that you get under those conditions.